Hello guys, back with another video. I know it's been some time, but we are finally finished on the dog slide development, and I think the files are ready to be released because it's been successful. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing the bash uh, tool change right now to test how reliable it is. So, so far it's been going on pretty well, pretty good. So, I think we are ready to release the file. And the dog slide, you will need two stepper motors, left and right, two rails. Uh, I'm doing, I'm using MGN 9H, uh, 9H rails, which were provided by Peter from Blue Rose. But maybe you can try using MGN 7 uh, I'm not very sure because we haven't tested them yet and for the stepper motors I uh, Jason from LDO has already sent over two motors for me to test they are higher in top and also uh, smaller in size so it's much more lighter and we can definitely push the dog slide to go faster so right now the tool change that is uh, needed to to change to change a tool is four seconds the total time that it took for the tool to approach the dog pick up the dog drop the dog I drop the tool pick up the next tool and go back to the printing resume printing position is about four seconds but the most important thing is the time that the tool actually leaves the nozzle blocker to the to resume printing so that time is at 1.9 seconds so on average about two, two seconds which is still good enough that we won't be needing a prime tower so everything is working as should and we will still tweak a bit on the clipper side of things whereby we already did the safe wire so even if the carriage is not uh, not not below the dog the dog won't deploy so the safe wire is there already uh, but we need to implement a safe Z as well as you can see here because when the dog comes down we need to make sure that the bait is cleared from the dog so that safe Z also is important during printing it's not a problem because uh, we can do a Z hop while tool changing so the bait will move down to pick up the tool so it will clear the dog but this is during you want to put the dog slide in a standby position or during testing whatever so we need the safe Z and the safe Y as well so okay just a quick short video as well to show you that dog slide is already working the rest of the parts are printed parts by the way so the only component is MGN rails and the block and the two stepper motors, two bearings, two small bearings, uh, 685 zigzag down here and down there, two shaft collar, that's it. And I will release the file based on VZ330. This is VZBot330. But those who have a gantry that are you know somewhere uh, above half halfway of the printer like the trident or red rig you can also try to adapt it using the top half of the printer itself but because vz330 has the even vz235 has the gantry somewhere top half of the printer itself but for vz330 I have to install my dog slide above the printer, uh, the gantry itself. So I have to make this extrusion uh, frame extension for the dog slide. So you have, if you want to give it a try, you have to tweak based on your own printer, whatever printer you are using. And this is not a requirement, guys. This is an option. It's, it's optional whereby you already have a fully built printer you want to have linux installed on it you will lose some build volume in y if you don't make any uh, modification to your printer like extending the y frame the x frame so 
by having Linux, you will lose a bit of Y because the tools are docked somewhere at the back or in the front. I don't know whichever way your printer is. But because of that, you will lose some Y build volume. If, uh, you you can even try to move the the bit a bit around you know front or back to just minimize that build volume loss but why we created dog slide is so that because the dogs are being moved upwards you can put in whatever is below the uh, dogs so you won't lose any build volume apart from you know the carriage uh, the carriage itself is a bit uh, thicker so you lose that build volume from there from your original printer itself but you won't lose because of the docks that are uh, because of the docks there that uh, tools are on the dock here so you won't lose build volume there so this is an option for you to regain back some build volume if you don't mind any build volume loss then of course you don't have to build docks like so this is just an option that we designed and created so that uh, people who want to regain back their view volume can use it if they don't want they can just remove the dog slide or just uh, comment out dog slide config inside clipper you just comment this out and this thing won't be used anymore you can just i mean like for me when i did all this testing i can just put the stopper here or you install a stopper here the dog will always stay on top that's it it won't affect anything so uh, but of course by having this dog slide on top of the printer like this it of course is you know bringing all your whole uh, cog up so is a the the printer tends to vibrate more all this right so you have to take that into account as well but just to tell you that dog slide is working and <coughs> we're going to be re releasing the file soon I mean right after this uh, making this video i will be releasing the file finalizing on the file and releasing them on our github so if you have any questions or anything you can just uh, post your questions in the comments or join us on discord all right see you guys